Hey guys, this is the Professor, and today we're making another of the 10,000 one-pot meals. And we're out here in the woods today, the mosquitoes are pretty bad, it rained last night, and so we're swatting mosquitoes and cooking away. Let's uh, review what we're making today. This is going to be chicken with potatoes and peppers. Now this isn't an original recipe, this came from a small cookbook that we got at the checkout at the supermarket from Better Homes and Gardens. Here is a picture of it. Over here, for our ingredients today, we're going to start out with a small can of chicken. Next of all, a couple of potatoes, two medium-sized potatoes for the two of us. We're going to have a jar of roasted peppers that are cut into strips. And last of all, we're going to have some chicken flavor uh, bouillon pack, which comes from some Roman noodles that I uh, had earlier. And of course, over here for our dessert, we're going to have some canned peaches and some grandma's cookies. So, there are our, our ingredients. Let's uh, get about getting those potatoes now diced up and starting to cook. We want to dice these potatoes up pretty small because we want them to cook quickly. Today we're going to be using our little Coleman dual fuel stove and uh, runs on just regular unleaded gasoline or Coleman fuel and even at four dollar a gallon gasoline a pint of gasoline will run this stove for nearly a whole weekend if you're conservative with it. So what we want to do here is to uh, let the stove prime up a little bit and we're going to uh, get some of our ingredients going here. First of all the uh, chicken. We'll go ahead and get that in our little skillet. Pop top cans are kind of convenient. Go ahead and get that in there. And for our peppers today we're going to go ahead and use um, about eight ounces of those. Just kind of whatever, whatever works. Let's go ahead and put them in there. Well, that juice wouldn't hurt, but I don't think I'll put it all in. Gives it some flavor. There we go. Close enough. I want to get our potatoes in there. Get everything cooked up here a little bit. Now for our flavorings today, we have our small packet of chicken bouillon, which is from a uh, ramen noodle packet. So go ahead and add some of that, maybe not all of it, it's pretty salty. And then of course we have some Italian seasoning. This is um, oregano and basil mixture, so I'll put in uh, about a half teaspoon of that. That'll give us some chicken broth. Once again, the formula for the 10,000 meals. First of all, a meat or a protein. In this case, we have chicken. A carb, we're going to have our potatoes. A vegetable, we're going to have our uh, red peppers here, roasted red peppers. And then for our sauce, we're going to have a chicken broth, uh, kind of a chicken broth mixture and seasoned then with the Italian seasoning. And probably a little pepper. So we'll let that cook up until the potatoes are done, and then we should be ready to have lunch out here at the camp today. Now 
using a little pepper container here with the uh, 35 millimeter film can with the added lids. I think film cans are going to become scarce now as film goes, goes obsolete, but uh, I had several of these and I always carry a set in the, uh, in the pack. Add a little flavor here with some pepper. Plenty of salt though already in the chicken bouillon. We won't need to add any salt uh, to the mixture. Pretty sure we're good on that. Things are getting close to boiling here, so it'll take a few minutes for everything to boil. We'll stir it occasionally and uh, kind of monitor until the potatoes are done. And that'll give a chance for all the flavors to melt together. And should be a good lunch out here along the trail. Okay, guys, we think the... Uh, chicken with potatoes and peppers is about done. The potatoes are cooked through now and the, uh, the sauce is thickening up a little bit in the bottom here so I think we're good to go. We'll go ahead and uh, turn the heat off and plate a little bit of this up for you. We'll go ahead and serve some of this up here in our, our Coleman exponent cook kit. It contains two bowls couple of cups, a little fry pan, and then a big kettle. But uh, for two people, works out really well, and uh, just about the right size. The one-pot meals are particularly uh, easy to eat if you have those served up in bowls. Uh, works even better than plates. And so there's enough here for two servings, and maybe just a little bit of extra. So I'm glad you joined us in the woods here today for our chicken with potatoes and peppers. This is the professor, and I'll see you soon.